guys it's the launch welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm just going to show you part one of three of this really long really overdue tutorial that i was supposed to upload forever so let's get right into it all of the materials that you need are listed in the description below so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a straight line at the top of the pattern paper this will be used as our starting point for our pattern drafting The next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is mat down 9 inches from that line and we're going to just square it across so as you see me I'm just marking down 9 inches again so that I will be able to rule a straight line across when I'm ready. The next measurement that I'm going to do is from my shoulder to my natural waist measurement. Well, this is for a client so I'm using her measurements so I have 14 inches from her shoulder to her natural waist. The next thing I'm going to do from the natural waist point, I'm going to go ahead and mark down 8 inches. This will serve as a point for our hip line when we're ready to draft in those measurements. From there, I'm going to go from the starting point, which is the shoulder point, and mark down the length um, that you wish the dress to be. So I have 36 inches. And I'm going to just do it on the other side as well so that when I'm ready, it is easy to square across those measurements. So just to recap quickly, I marked it down 9 inches from the shoulder start point and then I went ahead and marked my shoulder to my natural waist measurement and then we marked down 8 inches from the natural waist and then the full dress length that we need. Okay? The next step is for us to go ahead and square across all the points that we marked earlier. And forgive me if my voice is sounding a bit off. I am I'm trying to overcome a cold, so yes, forgive me. Now I'm just going to go ahead and label my lines. So this is my shoulder line, then we have the bust line the natural waist line, the hip line, and our dress length. The next thing we're going to do is take our shoulder measurement, divide it by two, and add half of an inch. We're going to go ahead and place that same measurement we just marked at the shoulder on our bust line. And we're going to add an additional measurement, which is our bust measurement, divide it by 4 and add 1.5 inches. Mind you guys, all of these measurements I've taken are in inches and I do have a quick video on how to take your basic measurements in case you need assistance with that. We're now going to take our natural waist measurement, divide it by 4 and add 2 inches. Our hip measurement, divide it by 4 and add 1 inch. And because this is a straight dress we're doing, we're taking the same hip measurement calculation that we just put on the hip line and we're going to place it at the line for the hem of the dress, which is our dress length line. The next step is to go ahead and connect all those points as you see me doing here. So I'm vertically connecting two shoulder line points, I'm connecting the bust point to the natural waist point and then I'm going to do the same thing connecting the natural waist point to the hip line and then use the same straight ruler to connect both hip measurements to the dress hem line as such. The next step is to mark up one inch from the armhole point as you see me doing there and you can go ahead using your curve to connect those. Now I am not used to using these curve rulers, I'm used to joining the curves freehanded by myself so I'm a bit you know clumsy with them, I'm not accustomed to them so you're going to notice I just forgot about the curve and just went ahead and freehand drawing the curve as such right but if you're good with the curves you can go ahead and use your curve ruler it doesn't really matter what you decide to use at the end of the day I'm 
I'm now going to mark down three inches from the front portion of the pattern. Three inches would represent my front neckline. And I'm going to mark out two and a half inches from the front going across to the shoulder line. So this is where I'm going to create a curve now for my front neckline for my dress. Well, for my client's dress rather because it's not mine, <laughs> but the same would apply if I was making it for myself. Now I'm going to just go along half of an inch as well from the same pattern. I usually like to do the both front and back patterns together to save paper that way. But if you decide to keep the pattern for after, you can go ahead and draft out the same thing on another piece of pattern paper. So I'm just connecting the same two and a half point to the half inch that I marked down and this will serve as my back neckline. Now I'm going to go at the end of the shoulder and mark down one inch and we're going to connect our two and a half inch point to that one inch point because our shoulders are not straight across, our shoulders are slightly you know slant so we have to do that the next thing that i'm going to do is go ahead and measure my armhole circumference and i'm going to mark the middle point so for my client her middle point is at five inches and i place a mark there then i'm going to go in half of an inch and just curve that area as you see me doing this will be for the front portion of the dress usually for the front you want to just go in a little half of an inch so it can lay nice and flat there So I'm just putting in some quick markings for you. This is the front and then I place the back up there so I remember that higher neckline is for the back. Now for this particular dress, I wanted the front and the back to have printed seam lines from the waist. So um, in order for me to achieve that, it means I would have to separate the pattern eventually and cut it through the natural waist. So I'm just making a quick point here that once I do that, I will need to add half of an inch at the top of the waist and also at the bottom of the waistline. So that when we rejoin them, our dress will not end up too short, right? So once we separate that, we just need to add a half of an inch. And I will show you that when I upload the new video of cutting it out. So what I'm doing at the bottom of the pattern here, I'm just going to add two inches for our hem allowance for our dress and just square it across. And I'm just going to add back the same hip measurement line that we had earlier for the hip and for the dress hem and just go ahead and mark that down connecting all those lines because as mentioned before this dress will have no slit just straight and the entire back will be closed up. Now this is basically the drafting portion of our dress front and back patterns and we're just going to go ahead and cut this out. As mentioned before, if you wish to do a separate back pattern, you can go ahead and do that. The same thing, the only difference would be is that, you know, the armhole area and the neckline area. But basically everything else is more than likely the same. And when you're cutting it out, you would have to remember to add seam allowance for the back for where your zipper is going to be. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut through the waistline measurement as mentioned before because I would like to add some front pockets and the princess seam lines for the front portion. So now let's just put that aside and work on the skirt portion for a bit. I'm just going to show you how we're going to insert a dad. So the top of the skirt pattern, I'm folding it in half. I gave it a slight notch as you see there in the center. And I'm just going to add half of an inch along both sides of that middle notch that we just created. And then I'm going to measure down five inches for our dad. And I'm just going to place a point right there. And we're just gonna take our straight ruler, mark down from the center of our notch to that point that we just marked there. And then you're going to mark the sides of the dad so it'll be like a triangular shape. If you need a separate tutorial on how to make that, please let me know and I'll be happy to find a time to do one for you. So 
so i'm just indicated on my pattern that this is my center front and my center back area and i'm also indicating that the side seam area so i would remember and guys this is basically it for the bottom portion of our pattern drafting for our dress yep the next thing we're going to do is just go ahead on the front pattern and we're going to indicate also the center front and back area and the side seam area now i'm just going to show you how we're going to draw in the princess seam that so basically as we did for the bottom portion of the dress we're going to do the same for the top bend it in two and a half and place a notch at the center area there of our pattern and then the same center area for our armhole we're basically going to connect that notch on our waistline to the center point of our armhole area and create like a nice curve i don't always get it right on the first try as i said i'm not used to the rulers but i'm going to attempt it and if i notice it is a bit off and it could have been a bit more curved then i will be correcting it as you see me doing here in the video shortly So yes, I noticed that the area for the armhole, it wasn't really curled, it was just a bit too straight. So I'm just going to go ahead and freehand the curve as I'm used to and just, you know, correcting that area. So I'm just going to mark out the line, just scratch out the line that I did before at that part to remember, okay, this is the line I need to follow, which is the bolder line for my princess seam. So I'm just indicating on the front part of the pattern there, which will be for the back area to add two inches for my zipper allowance. I also doing it on the skirt pattern as I forgot before. I need to remember to add two inches for a zipper allowance at the back as well. And guys, this is what we have so far. The last thing I'm going to show you how to do is to draft the front pocket. Now I've already done a front pocket tutorial um, for you guys so when it's time for the sewing i'm not going to go too much in depth with that however i'm just going to show you how i draft it on a paper pattern and it's basically the same concept it's my latest video i will also link that in the description so i basically went out seven inches across there and i'm going down 10 inches and we just need a seven by 10 inch square well rectangle So I'm also putting 7 inches here as I did at the top before and we just want it to be, you know, aligned properly. This is very important, right? And then from the top of our pattern paper now, I'm just going to go ahead and mark out 3 inches going across and 5 inches down. I'm just going to use our curve and connect the 3 inch mark to the 5 inch mark like so. Now, if you want, you can also curve the bottom of the pattern like that. However, I'm just going to go ahead and leave mine square as is. I don't believe that it makes um, a huge difference, you know? So I'm just labeling the front pocket pattern there. And that's basically it for a pattern drafting, guys. You can go ahead and cut that out. And I'm just indicating on my pattern 7 inches, 10 inches so that I will remember the dimension of our pocket and this will serve for the entire front pocket. We need to cut 4 pieces in all, 2 pieces with the curve and 2 pieces with the rectangle guys. And you know this is it for a tutorial. Stay tuned for part 2 where I will show you how I place this pattern on the actual fabric and cut it out step by step all of her pieces and everything thank you so much for watching this tutorial don't forget to like share and subscribe guys bye bye